know there, everybody, that was the end of a lovely gentle piece called Winter from My Window by a composer called John Madden. And it's part of a new collection from the ABRSM called Piano Star, and this is a new book, Grade One. And I just thought that's just perfect for today because it's definitely winter. And where I'm looking out of here, it is a cold winter's day from my window. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about practice. We're taking practice as a theme at the moment. And um, I wanted to share with you a little bit uh, about how I get over this problem of students always just repeating pieces from the beginning, especially with beginners. It's a real struggle, isn't it, sometimes to get pupils to work at certain sections. Instead, we know from research that they just go back to the beginning and do it all again. So we have to be really specific. And I'm going to share with you an idea that I picked up from the Internet as well. So thank you to whoever I watched. And I'm just passing it on. And that is the use of practice buddies. Here they are. Here are my three practice buddies. I've got penguins in this case. And let me just show you very quickly how I use them. So first of all, we have to identify for our student the passage. And I'm going to work at the very last two bars. And we've got some chords here. That might be the first little section that I identify for them. And I say, OK, you're going to play those two chords. Doesn't matter what the rhythm is, completely out of time. But you need to play the first one staccato with the right notes. And the second one needs to be uh, together again and the right notes and this time it's held. Okay? It doesn't matter how long you wait in between times and you have to do that three times and every time you do that staccato and the right notes and legato on the second one then you can move a practice buddy over so it might go like this. And hopefully the second time it might be a little bit more fluent and so on okay and then get the third one over there as well then I might say then you work backwards and you go from the beginning of the bar of uh, so this we'd be looking for the right rhythm the right notes and the staccato so this time it would be counter bar in one two three one and two And that's what they'd need to do. So we might get something like this. They're going to count in, not me. One, two, three, one. No, I can't. You can't take your penguin over, can you? No. Okay. One, two, three, one, and two. One, two, three. And they'll look at me hopefully at that point, probably. You know, was that okay? Most of them know, they know when they've made a mistake. And I might say, what do you think? Can that go over? No. Well, why? What, what happened? And I will ask them. I want them to find out the answers. I didn't do the staccato. Absolutely. Can you do it again? One, two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three. Yay. Over goes the green penguin. And they love taking the penguins over. And the three will go. You have to practice it with them in the lesson so that they know precisely and specifically what they're doing at home. And I guarantee it works wonders and they will repeat little passages as long as you are specific about what it is they've got to do. So hope that's really helpful and thank you to whoever that was who's, uh, who I picked that up from. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.